Bonjour, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to see you today for another video. And today's video is about fashion. You know, I love fashion. And there's one thing I love is to thrift and buy vintage. So in this video, I'm going to give you all my tips how to buy expensive, luxury brands in this video i'm going to give you my tips my recommendation where to buy vintage thrift in paris how parisian woman parisian girl style uh, vintage species so you can thrift like a pro when we say thrift vintage we always think about paris i think paris is the capital of vintage and thrift but why Parisian girl, Parisian woman love, love vintage and thrift? This is so Parisian. This is part of the effortless chic, the Parisian style. We love to mix, we love to mix expensive, luxury, iconic uh, pieces with something more casual, uh, even cheaper. I love to mix, for example, a beautiful Balenciaga jacket, a beautiful Chanel, tweed Chanel vintage jacket with H&M, Zara, Mango, with something, there's no brand sometimes. This is so Parisian. This is so Parisian. This is so cool to mix something iconic, expensive, with something, like we said, bon marché here in France. We don't like to overdress in Paris. So if you're full brands, full expensive luxury brands, it might be a little bit too much. And this is so cool, so, so cool to mix, you know, iconic jewels, expensive uh, bags with, uh, you know, H&M, Zara, a jacket. This is definitely my style. Also, you know, French girl, we, especially in Paris, we like to shop like, quality is better than quantity quality over quantity i think parisian women like to invest in few very few expensive uh, iconic uh, pieces that we cherish we love in our closet and sometimes if we want to dress up we just have to wear this iconic chanel tweed uh, jacket vintage clothes are better quality there's no secret and you know that or if you don't know uh, i'm gonna tell you most of the very luxury brands now you know gucci fendi whatever uh, louis vuitton uh, even some pieces from chanel i'm sorry to, to say it but most of them are made not in europe not in italy just most of the time it's japan it's china there's a lot of made in china so vintage clothes are very good good quality you might find you know 20 years jacket with still perfect uh, they all made in italy you know pieces from the 80s and 90s they all are made in italy so this is such a good quality garment items and you can keep in your closet the beautiful the iconic most of them are also unique rare you might find an incredible price uh, something super raw, super unique, and I love the idea to be unique. I love that. My favorite vintage thrift uh, brands are Alaya. You know, I'm gonna show you my favorite pieces in this video. Uh, there's a you know a dress from Alaya that just touched. I love. I, I really cherish this little uh, black dress every time I go out. This is the perfect Alaya dress, a little bit sexy, but when I go out for a date or, you know, for a night uh, and I know I'm going to a club or, you know, fancy, expensive place, I always wear this one. I found in a vestiaire collective in a thrift, Chanel, of course, Chanel vintage. I love it. Dior, Fendi, I love the 80s, 90s Fendi and Balotino. Usually they all are made in Italy, which is not the case right now. What is the difference between thrift and vintage? And I'm gonna explain to you because there is a big, big difference. Even thrift and vintage seem to say the same thing. They're not synonymous actually. Uh, they are very different. In thrift, it's mainly second hand. Uh, so luxury, expensive, uh, second-hand uh, items, but most of the time they already uh, used or they already have been worn. Vintage, so vintage is a little bit more niche, more curated uh, than second-hand. So most of the time it's older, rare items, iconic and unique, uh, sometimes even, you know, haute couture. 
uh, haute couture pieces, iconic pieces, especially uh, the one, for example, from, uh, you know, Chanel 80s. Uh, Chanel, they're such a unique iconic. There are very, very few items on the market right now. So to be considered vintage, uh, the items should be uh, more than 20 years old. Old, uh, so 20 years old, old to be considered uh, vintage. So where to buy vintage and thrift here in Paris? So first, uh, my favorite online store is Rizzi. Uh, Rizé or Rizé, I don't know how you pronounce it. This is a beautiful curated niche luxury online vintage. So this uh, website has been founded by two American women uh, who were expats. They sell only curated, very niche, raw uh, items. I'm gonna say the uh, price point is a little bit more expensive. You might find very, very raw Hermes uh, bags, for example, very raw Yves Saint Laurent. Um, collection from sometimes 80s, 90s defilés, so it's a little bit expensive, very curated. But if you are a vintage aficionado, very curated person, you're gonna love this website. Uh, and they also do worldwide shipping to America, to Europe, even to Asia. So beautiful, beautiful online vintage website. The second one is Vestiaire Collective. You might know this one. I love to shop. Uh, I shop most of the time from this website. It's also sun on end and vintage. So it's a mix of uh, both. You might have broader, wider choice compared to a Rizé, for example. Um, I'm gonna say the price is medium, uh, not low, but medium prices. You might find sometimes very raw, uh, very expensive also items, but most of them are medium uh, prices. Last one is first, Dips. This is also a high price uh, vintage website. You also might find very, very expensive curated vintage. They sell pretty much everything i think you can also find furniture on this uh, website they also ship uh, worldwide okay where to buy vintage and second hand in paris so now the store the first one is thanks god i'm a vip uh, so it's a very famous trendy uh, vintage store here in paris most of the celebrity actresses here in paris they buy also from this store a lot of also american women um so it's located in the 10th arrondissement not my favorite arrondissement to be honest with you trendy very well known like i said only luxury brands so um there's no like such a no label brands or um, medium low price brands it's only only created uh expensive luxury brands so if saint laurent uh, Alexander McQueen, Celine, uh, all of them usually very creative. They are very uh, picky uh, to find very excellent, nice uh, pieces for their clientele. So as you can expect, the price is pretty expensive for this store, but if you have a budget, if you have the money, you should check definitely if you want to find, you know, uh, something very interesting. Another vintage store is En Voiture Simone in the third arrondissement. This is more a concept store with curated niche uh, pieces. You might find, for example, Guy La Roche blues, Lanvin uh, vest, uh, Castel Baljac, Givenchy at a medium, medium price. It's not cheap, it's not low. Very interesting, you know, kitsch, cliche, vintage uh, pieces. It's cool. Actually, I check, it's very, very cool. Uh, so definitely check if you love, you know, 80s, 90s, 70s, a look. Another one is uh, Retro Chic. This is a niche boutique, definitely a niche uh, with high hand, uh, second hand, and vintage items. You might also find very raw pieces too. This is super niche because the founder is Yann Durand and he also take uh, it also takes appointment for very special clientele. Okay, if you love 70s, 70s aesthetic, 70s look, you know, the yeah yeah boyish uh, look, if you love Jeanne Birkin, you know, Gainsbourg, love that, you have to check uh, Relic. So Relic, this is a very interesting uh, vintage store, pretty recent actually. They sell, for example, very kitsch, uh, 70s aesthetic, so it's mostly 70s, you're not gonna find 80s, 90s. Um, for example, Vichy pattern, you know, the beautiful trouser, Vichy trouser, for example. Kitsch colors, a lot of green, a lot of yellow, a lot of 
orange, which was also a very trendy color in the 70s. Yeah, it's very colorful, very kitsch, 70s, yeah, yeah, uh, you know, hippie look. You're gonna love this one. Now, the second hand. So, uh, the first one is Episode, beautiful Dutch uh, franchise, meaning that they have a lot a lot of different stores uh, in Europe, but this is originally Dutch, not French. Uh, they are, yeah, they have many stores in Europe. This one in Paris is very interesting. It's a big one with medium point price uh, items. You're gonna find a lot, a lot of different brands, sometimes cheap, sometimes medium price. The second one is super, I think it's one of the most famous second hand uh, you know, boutique in Paris. It's Killwatch Rue Ticketon in the second arrondissement. Uh, yeah, everyone in Paris knows this one because they also sell, mm, I'm gonna say cheap uh, stuff, uh, cheap items. It's not super expensive. It's very affordable. Uh, this is a second hand, more second hand boutique than vintage actually. Okay, a recent one. So now they are very recent, but super, super trendy here in Paris. Uh, this is called Nuovo. This is the it trendy boutique you have to check if you love second hand uh, with a lot of 80s, 90s uh, inspiration, influence uh, when they select the clothes. Uh, you might find, for example, Tom Ford, Gucci. Uh, very, very trendy with some very American vintage LA uh, you know, inspiration. I love uh, this store. The one is Snow Bunny. Uh, this is a very funny kitsch boutique actually. I also check online. They also have a website. So it's a little bit bling bling, a 2000 inspiration, you know, this Spice Girl, a Spice Girl look, you know, very cropped mini skirt, mini crop top, but you might find very interesting accessories, especially the sunglasses, for example. It's medium low prices, but very, very interesting, very trendy. Another one called Retro. Uh, this is one of the biggest secondhand uh, thrift store in Paris, actually, located in the second arrondissement. This is a casual uh, thrift secondhand uh, boutique. And there's also a very nice 90s uh, playlist in the background, so a little bit kitsch. But I love this type of ambiance usually. You're here to find something a little bit vintagey, a little bit kitsch or cliche. But I love, I love this boutique. I love the atmosphere, the ambiance, the fact that sometimes you have to dig up uh, into this mountain of clothes. The last one, and I love this one, very, very chic, very trendy. It's called Palace Calas, just by the name, I love it. Uh, this is a very decadent um, second-hand thrift uh, boutique. A little bit decadent with a Kimka, uh, Kimka LA inspiration, cross skirt, uh, crop top, a lot of 80s, 90s also inspiration. You're gonna find very trendy, special items, a little bit more pricey. For example, special collection from uh, Comme des Garçons. If you're a fan of Comme des Garçons, you're gonna find very interesting items. 50 euros Sergio Rossi boot, for example. So I'm gonna say medium, uh, medium prices, but very interesting, trendy, uh, you know, collection, trendy selection. Now my best tips, my best recommendation to how to thrift like a pro how to find the best items the best vintage items the pepite like i say the pepite you know an incredible price so my first tips will be to know what you are looking for i think um if you're spending hours on a website or on a store for like you don't know what you're looking for you're gonna waste your time uh, usually and you know it's a lot of patience also to find you know the uh, specific item if you know what you're looking for you have to use uh, the filter and not the keywords online this is a tip for buying online usually when i buy on the Sierra collective and i'm looking for example a nayala alaya dress i'm not gonna tape alaya on the research bar i use the filter uh, the filters are more important than the keywords so usually what I do, I go to brands. I select, you know, uh, Alaya, I filter woman, I filter clothes, I filter dress, and I have all the Alaya dress. It's better than just uh, taping, you know, Alaya dress on the research bar. Why is that? Because you find broader, wider choice if you uh, use the filters and not the keywords. 
uh, and I always, always do that when I shop uh, online. The goal is to have really a wider choices so you can really select and find what you are looking for and also negotiate the price. If you really narrow your choices, it's more and more uh, difficult. Second recommendation is also to have your uh, best addresses, the good addresses. Keep these good addresses. Uh, even sometimes it might be a, a little shop in nowhere in Paris or in nowhere in New York. Keep uh, your good addresses, don't share to anyone. And online also, remember, saved, uh, save your favorite seller. Uh, it's the case, for example, I have an example. So two weeks ago, like I said, I bought a vintage Fendi jeans. And I check, you know, I check the, the seller, uh, I check what she was also uh, selling. And I found out that she was selling a lot of vintage, very interesting vintage stuff at incredible prices, like a Dior, Christian Dior mule for like, I don't know, 50 bucks, uh, Christian Dior dresses, very, very nice curated items at incredible prices. And I save uh, this seller on Vestiaire Collective because I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy from her. I'm going to come back to her and buy more, more clothes. So save your favorite seller online. Third tips, uh, be careful of the condition of the items. So this is super, super important. As it has been worn, if so, is there any holes? Uh, holes, any stain, it happens a lot actually. Sometimes you know you find uh, expensive ally addresses, expensive Chanel uh, tweed jacket, and we have some stains here, some holes uh, in the back. It's very, very annoying. So always ask more for more details, more photos. Don't forget also to negotiate. Uh, the price. Usually the perfect deal will be to find a pristine, a pristine vintage items at a affordable, uh, affordable price. This is the perfect good deal. So don't buy something which is like used, too much used, uh, too much worn, with a stain, with a hole. Don't buy it. This is my tips. So fourth also, uh, fourth uh, uh, tips always always negotiate the price always uh, unless like i said unless and there's one exception to that unless it's a very very iconic raw curated pieces for example if it is the last skirt on the market from uh, i don't know 1985 spring summer chanel collection don't try to negotiate the price it's impossible you know it's very curated uh, so it's impossible uh, to <laughs> negotiate the price for that but for the rest uh, meaning you know fendi trouser gucci vintage trouser whatever chanel tweed jacket always always negotiate the price this is my last tip so always try to negotiate the price and always bid meaning ask for at least five percent ten percent less so to end this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite vintage uh, secondhand, you know, items I, uh, I buy from uh, Vestiaire uh, Collective. So the first one is uh, an Alaya dress, beautiful Alaya dress. I love Alaya. I love, love Alaya. Uh, this one is not a vintage one. I'm still looking for the perfect vintage Alaya dress. So this is a second hand uh, dress. And I think this one is from like 2019 uh, collection, if I remember, 2019 or 2020. So pretty recent actually. And I love this one. It's very sexy because actually, you know, it's um, with like yeah, it's a little bit open. It's the sexiness of Alaya. You know, this is really the signature of Alaya. Um, this is like a medium, mid-size length. Yeah, mid-size length, actually. I love this one. This is my favorite little black dress. I, I look so chic. It's sexy, definitely it's sexy. Uh, but I look so chic with this one. Uh, it looks also very expensive. I bought this one for probably around 400 euros or 500 euros. And I was also able to negotiate uh, the price. The only downside of this one is the, uh, the size uh, 38. I'm usually 36, 34. So it's a little bit, a little bit uh, bigger 
actually. Uh, but this is also the tricky part when you buy online vintage or second hand, you're not always sure about the size. So it happens to me uh, last year, I bought a small size, a small vintage Alaya skirt. And unfortunately, you know, 36 in the 80s uh, is more 34 uh, nowadays. So actually, you know, it was too tight, way, way too tight for, for me. So even sometimes you're pretty sure about the size, you always have some surprise, especially when it's high vintage, you know, because small in the 80s, it's not small, unfortunately, uh, now. So always some surprise, but I love this one. I really cherish. Uh, this one, this is the perfect black little dress. The vintage boyish uh, jean, I love, love this one. So this is the 80s jean from Fendi. Um, I got this one at incredible, incredible price. I think I negotiated for like 50 bucks this one. Uh, you have the logo Fendi. Uh, this is the 80s vintage uh, Fendi jean. It looks like perfect, pristine. You know, no stain, no holes, nothing. Um, perfect one. It's also height waist. Height waist one, I love. I love this one. This is definitely my favorite jean of all. And especially vintage uh, jean also. They have something very special. They age way much better. So I think vintage jeans are really, really nice. Another piece I love, I love in my, in my closet. Uh, this is this mule, I'm like, oh my God, I cherish, cherish this one. Uh, not only because I was able to buy this one at an incredible, incredible price. I don't know how I, I found it actually. I was so, so lucky. Um, but also because they're so, so uh, beautiful. So uh, these are the Tom Ford 2009, I think. 2009 Tom Ford collection for Yves Saint Laurent. So they are Yves Saint Laurent and uh, mule in silk. Uh, silk uh, with the Chinese inspiration. They're supposed to be worth 1,200. I think I found this one on another website for 1,400, something like that. And I got this one for less than 100 euros. So I really made a, a deal and I love this one. Uh, they are so beautiful. <sighs> They're so beautiful. Every time I wear this one, I got so many, many compliments. Uh, they look so expensive, so chic. The vintage, uh, you know, they also, you also have them. Um, a serial number. Usually I wear this one, you know, during the summer with a very nice little uh, black dress or uh, a tailleur, you know, a very nice tailleur. They also, they really match pretty much everything. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoy this video about thrift vintage. I hope this video will help you to find the perfect vintage deal to thrift and also uh, buy vintage like a pro. So don't forget also to check my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you, if you like this video and I see you very soon for another video. Bye.